it was raining last night and it is sprinkling and I don't think I've ever ran in the rain. Part of me kind of wants to because it's just like, get over that fear. But then I have no idea if later when I go for my run if it's going to be raining so I can't really control that. I could go right now but it's really just sprinkling. Day 76 of running after soccer. Okay, we only had one girl, so. so. So I ran hard and I was feeling really good, but I started running and my hip kind of, my left hip, everything feels like it's always on my left side, but my left hip just kind of pinked up a little bit. So kind of going down to my ankle. <sighs> I don't know. There's definitely like when you're running every day, you just gotta be conscientious of these things and then take care of them when they happen and don't push yourself just because you said you would, I don't necessarily think you have to stop running. I think you can run every day. I think you just have to like, be, be gentle. Or she, fix your, there you go, good girl. So, let's see how it goes again. Okay, running right now is fine. Okay, right up this spot. My ankle feels a little, a little much, and now it's my hip a little bit. So I just kind of go through these moments of like, run a little, walk a little, especially after soccer. So well, that's all for day 76. I'm gonna keep going, bye. Day 77 of running with Roshi. She's a little slow today. My, uh, my left shin is hurting a little bit. We're trying to make it as far on this trail as possible. We have about an hour till sunset, so I don't know how far we're gonna make it, but doing pretty good. It's really nice to be out again. It's been a while. I don't even, I don't even know the last time I was here. I'll have to check back, show you the last picture of the time I was here. It's probably like at least a year ago. So, but here we go. Let's go, Roche. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I decided to turn around early before we would try to make it to the spot that I was trying to. One, I know that on Iron Mountain I got stuck on a trail at night, um, but I do not want to get stuck on this trail. And also my shin just kind of hurts. Left shin. It's been, I think earlier, earlier this week I was maybe massaging it. I don't know. but. It just is like, kind of feels like a shin splint, so I don't want to push it. I'm still gonna keep running, but yeah, turning around early today. Just wanted to see how far I could get, how good it felt, and then maybe on a different day, leave earlier, especially now that like, it's not quite fall in San Diego, but it's getting there, so it's not gonna be so hot during the day which means I can start leaving earlier and then I'll have more time. So it'll be good, but say bye, Roshi. Say bye. bye. Day 78 with the Everest of the park. We've been having fun. She is obviously much faster than I am. So when we get to wide open parks like this, especially when there's no one around, I just let her off leash and 
let her run so she gets out some of her energy. So I'm gonna do some hanging because we're at the park until I build my own. It'll be fun. Day 79 of running with Sarah. Running buddy. How are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, but we're still going. Here's the view. <laughs> Look, you can see San Diego. Okay, bye. We made a friend. Look at this guy. He's gonna be my running buddy, huh? Come on, little guy. Day 80. Legit, this is happening. It is 11.57 p.m. The thing about this 100 day run is I never said that I had to ever go out for a certain time or a certain distance, just that I had to go. So I'm getting it done and I'm just happy that I'm starting before midnight. And literally this run is probably going to be my shortest run.